The question that is posed to us today is how can we acquire the blessings from God and not be cursed by Him? If we want to receive the same blessings that Abraham received from God, all we need to do is to have faith in Jesus, faith in God. Jesus was cursed on our behalf because he's carried our sins in his body. And with the death of Jesus on the cross, it shows, therefore, that all our sins have been forgiven because God has shown us his love and mercy in Jesus that even if we are not perfect, even if we are sinners, God has forgiven us. And what is needed now, therefore, is to believe in Him and to receive the grace that flows from faith in Him. But as I've said, it does not mean to say, therefore, that the laws are not important. They are still important insofar as they guide us how to live our lives in the righteous manner. But on our own strength, we cannot do it. Whenever we fail, we should be cursing ourselves even more. And that is what is happening. Today, many of us, you know, because we are perfectionists, we cannot forgive ourselves. So when we make some mistakes, instead of trying to find consolation from the Lord, instead of trying to encounter His mercy and love and find healing, we curse ourselves, we condemn ourselves. And of course, not only we condemn us, others will also condemn us. When you look at the, all the social media, they want to condemn us. So that's why a person who is already down, when we curse a person, he goes into the pit. That is not the way to help a person to come out of himself. Jesus precisely, he forgives. And it is forgiveness, it is compassion, it is always healing. The only way to heal a broken man is not to punish him. It is to affirm, to strengthen, to love. Only when he begins to love himself, he will be able to love authentically. We are called, my dear brothers and sisters, to be with Jesus because Jesus will give us the strength. And even when we fail, Jesus will console us and continue to affirm us in his love.